I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. Go ahead and open your legs to a wide stance plie position. Your toes are slightly facing out. We're gonna drop it low to warm up our body, our glutes, our hip flexors, and our legs. So here we go, you're gonna drop, and every time you go into a squat, you squeeze on the up. That's what makes a squat work, is the squeezing at the top. So you drop it low, and you squeeze when you come up. Make sure your toes are facing out. They're outside of your hips. Keep it moving. We're warming up that booty. Come on, give me eight more. Yes, seven, six. It's all about going straight up and down like there's a pull at the center of your head because this is a wide stance squat. Yes, give me three, two. Now I want you to hold it down there and just pulse it. Tiny pulses. Every pulse you're squeezing, you're lifting those glutes off of your thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last round, you guys. Back to full range squats. So we do this to get that body warm, to get it loose. Because I want you to be able to give 110% in every move that you're doing so your booty gets the ultimate workout. Four, three, two, one, hold it down and pulse. Remember, your core is engaged this entire workout. Your abs are a big part of everything that you do, and it definitely doesn't hurt to have a small waistline to go with that beautiful booty. Give me four, three, two, and up. Good job, shake it out. We're gonna lunge it out side to side. Get that stretch in. All right, take it a little lower. Hands down to the floor. Opening up those hips. And turn it over to your left, right here. Push it up and down. So we're stretching out our hamstring. Make sure your knee does not pass the toe on this lunge. Give me three. Give me two, and one. I want you to hold it up. Bring that nose to your knee. Get that hamstring stretch, because you will be working those hamstrings. Walk it over to the center. Lunge it back side to side. There you go. Open up those hips. And take it over to your right. Push it up and down and up and down, good. Not letting that knee pass the toe, but pushing through the hips so you get that ultimate stretch. One more, nose to the knee. Walk it to the center and take it down and up. Really wanna fill in the back of those thighs. Give me three, give me two, and now I want you to just pulse it down. The lower you go, the more you're gonna open up those hip flexors. Feels so good. Now can you lift your heels off the floor, putting all the weight in your toes? Yes, yeah, still pulsing. This is really gonna activate and fire up those glutes. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Slowly roll it up. Let's stretch out our back. Take it to the left. Are you? You're right. Another side. Roll it up and out all the way up. Good job, you guys. Good. 
make sure that when you step over with the curtsy, that your knee still maintains a nice straight line above your ankle. And when you get into that side lunge, I want you to get really low, sit back deep. The farther down you go, the more calories you burn. You want to get that booty. Good. Let's do a couple more on this side. Keep breathing. Last one. Good job. Let's do the other side. 30 seconds. Ready? Stepping across with your left. Getting low. A nice, smooth momentum. Good. Keep breathing. This is exercise one. We still have nine more to go. Good job, you guys. All the weight in the heels. Squeeze the booty. Good, you guys, keep it going. I'm right here, doing it with you. Last one. Good job. Okay. Let's work those hamstrings again and those glutes. All right. Feet about shoulder width apart. Push back the little heels. Squeeze. Lunge down with your right, and then up. Sit back. Make sure that back should be flat, you guys. Don't round it. Okay really important. Form is very important. Uh, good. Because we don't want to be injured. We want to be fit. Sit back in those heels. Squeeze. Now, some people have better flexibility than others. Mine is okay. But what you want to do is go down as far as you can, but don't round your shoulders, okay? So don't do this here. Really bad form, okay? Don't do that, please. Uh, also use this as active recovery in a sense. One more, sit back, squeeze, take it down, up, good job. Now pulse it, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And squeeze on the up. Five, four, three, two, one. So you're giving me a sumo squat, meaning your butt goes low to the flow. One, and up. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And up in five, four, three, two, one. Are you squeezing those coconuts? Come on, get low. One, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Just a few more. I know you can do it. Two, one. Yeah, count with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. You're there, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Four more times like that. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze, yes. We're gonna try for a single leg deadlift. Okay, so on that, I'm gonna turn this way. Take that leg back. Level one, you just tilt. Maybe you have, you know, balance issues. You don't feel comfortable going down without with lifting your leg. Level two, and you only have 10 more. You lift it. Easy, right? Find something to focus on. Spread out those toes on the floor. Keep your head in alignment. Yes. Slow and squeeze. Yes. 10, yes. There you go. All the way. Slight bend in the supporting leg. Squeeze. So remember, it's not a kick. It's not a race. You want to fill it in the leg you're standing on. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's do the other side. All right. So let's start with that level one. Remember, you're just hinging from the hips. Hinging from the hips. So you feel that stretch in the leg you're standing on. Good. If you want to add more, add intensity, 
difficulty, you find your balance and you lift. Good. Pulling the belly in, focusing on something a few feet in front of you. There you go. Yes. Five more. You got this. Yes, can you give me one more? And time. Pop those hands on your hips. 15. No need to lock this knee. Just go right back down. Five more. Two, one more. And one. Those are brutal. Take your time, shake it out. You might need a full 20 seconds here. Foot back. Let's get 20. Going down for one. Two, good. You go down for two and up for two and squeeze out the top. Main thing you want to do when doing a deadlift is to make sure you have a slight bend in your knees. Not too much of a bend or else it turns into a squat. And if you don't bend at all, you end up injuring your knee. Also, you want to look just a few feet in front of you. Some people like to strain their neck. You don't want to do that. You want your body all in one straight line. By attacking the hamstrings with this workout, you're gonna tighten up the back of your legs and lift that booty up nice and high. That's what we're here for. Booty building, give me eight. And down, squeeze, seven. There you go, six. Looking good. Five. Give me four. Yes. Burn it. Three. Give me two. And one. You're gonna step left right here. Bring it back in. Yes. So you're stepping forward and stepping back. You're gonna stay on one leg so you build all the tension, all the fire in that one butt cheek. Back and forth. Yes. Focus on something a few feet in front of you. You got it. There you go. Make sure you get your front thigh parallel to the floor. Yes, eight more. All the way. There you go. Seven. Don't let that knee pass the toe. Six. Full range of motion. Five. Looking good. Four. Three. Two. Give me one more right here. And in. Good, shake it out. Let's go ahead, move it to the other side. Here we go. Take that opposite leg in front and lunge. And back. Lunge it forward. And back. Good, keep going forward. And back. There you go. Making sure both feet face the same direction. You don't want to tweak your knee. 
So make sure you're not turning one foot out. You want all of your joints to be in the same alignment. There you go, give me eight more. Right here for eight, seven. Come on, keep it going. Get low. That was seven right there, now give me six. So each step forward and back is one. Yes, five. Are you getting low? Four. Yes. Three. Woo. Feeling it. Two. One more. Yes. Great job. All right, let's rest the arms a little bit. Let's go to the lower part. I want you to do a one leg deadlift, but we'll modify it a little bit. Keeping this like straight lock on the toes in the back. One, ooh, I really feel in this leg. The other leg helping me to stabilize while all the work is done on this leg. You're feeling your quads, your hamstrings. Breathe out on the way up. Let's shoot for 10 reps each side. I'm going slow, yet in control. Never go too fast, or you lose your balance. and always breathe out on the way up. Wow, that leg is burnt. All right, switch legs. On your toes, nice and tall on the chest. One. Two, that is tough. Three. Always grab a pair of weights that you're comfortable with doing. Breathe. Focus on that leg. Breathe. Now, if this weight is too much, you can let go of one and just grab the outside of the other one. All the way down. Ooh. Good control. And, ooh. Excellent. Okay, our next move is going to be the transverse squat. We're gonna take it to the diagonal and then you're gonna balance on one leg. So let's try it first, our level one. You take it down, sumo squat, and you can just tap, lifting your heel off the floor. If you wanna challenge yourself, bring it all the way up to the knee. So you take it down and knee. Good, give me four more. Up, three. You can even add a little overhead press if you wanna engage those arms. Two and one. Nice, did you feel that little burn? Let's try to the other side. Once again, to the diagonal. Then you come up, you could tap. If you wanna take the level up, you bring the knee all the way up. Good. Even more, you add the arms. Give me four more. Three more. Are you squeezing when you come up? Two more. That's right. And one. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna face this direction. You're gonna sit back into your heels, and then up, and then we're gonna do a single leg, and then up, and alternate between two legs and one. Ready? On the clock, here we go. Make sure you keep your knees slightly bent if you need to. Only come down as far as you need to without letting your back round, okay? You don't wanna lead with your back. Think about sitting back in your heels, pushing your back, your butt back towards the room, the back, uh, the wall behind you. Sorry, you guys. Good. Back is straight, chest out, shoulders back. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs. Keep breathing. Your feet should be about hip to shoulder width apart. One more. Good job. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, deep breath, 
Good, go ahead and take that left leg in front. Tilt from the hip. Pick up that toe and sit that booty back. Getting that hamstring stretch. Yes. Feel it, good job. Slowly roll it up. Other leg, tilt forward. Grab that toe. You did such a good job today. Want to make sure you get the stretch you deserve. Slowly roll it up. Go ahead and give me a lateral lunge over to the left. There you go. Sit in that hip. Good, don't let the knee pass the toe. Sit back. And take it over to the right. Pushing back. Thinking about the great work you did. And go ahead and put those hands down. Pull through your legs. Get that hamstring stretch. And walk those feet in. Grab your ankles, pull your body close. And I want you to walk it out right and left and right and left. Good, feel that stretch. And go ahead and slowly roll it up. Give me a deep inhale. Stretch out that back, because I know you have tension in there from the squats. It's all connected. Other side. And roll it up. Push out. Up and out and all the way up. Give me a deep inhale. Exhale. 